This is a CBS 4 News update. Shabazi with your CBS 4 News update. The man accused of mailing out pipe bombs has made his first of court appearance today. 56 year old Caesar Sayok faces five federal charges after investigators say they linked him to the explosive packages that were sent to critics of President Donald Trump. Today's hearing was brief and Sayok is expected to be back in court Friday for a bond hearing, at which point the court will discuss possible extradition to New York. Election Day is just eight days away and trucks with voting machines are starting to head out to polling locations around Miami-Dade County. This is one of the first deliveries and several more are scheduled to be made. Don't forget, if you want to avoid the long lines on Election Day, you can always vote early in person all this week. President Trump and the First Lady celebrated Halloween a few days early at the White House. Children of military families came out to the South Lawn for a spooktacular day of trick-or-treating. The couple handing out Hershey's bars and Twizzlers to kids dressed up as superheroes, astronauts, and princesses. The South Lawn was decorated with pumpkins and bales of hay, and a military band played spooky music. Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Weather-wise, our nice preview of fall looks like it may be only that, a preview. Nice dry air across the area. Overnight lows have been in the 60s, daytime highs in the 80s under plenty of sunshine. As we go into the week, we warm up a bit by Wednesday, mid to upper 80s, but then moisture starts to show back up. Thursday, a few showers possible. Saturday and even Sunday, a better chance for some showers and some storms. Really, the big player is going to be this next cold front. Is it going to stall out or is it going to come on through? If it stalls out, it's warmer weather, higher humidities, and a chance for some showers and storms. I think the stalling out is probably going to be the likely outcome. So through the week, looking good through Halloween, and then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a better chance for showers and a little more humidity as well. Bruta Bay. Thank you, Craig. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.